Have any of you ever heard of the case of Gabriel Fernandez? Um, He was an eight-year-old boy who was beaten to death by his mom and her boyfriend, and they would do terrible things to him, like they would douse him in pepper spray, and they would lock him in closets and, like, shove socks in his mouth. Um, And so many cases like this happen, and it's oftentimes not even spoken about enough, but it's really more common than you think. And it's a big, it happens because a lot of people just aren't meant to be parents or they just don't have the proper knowledge on how to take care of a child or like the things that you should do and shouldn't do. Um, so many people have children without any idea of how to take care of them, not only physically, emotionally, but mentally as well. Everyone should be required to take action and be more informed on parenting practices. Um, I personally grew up in a house... Um, my mom used to beat the living shit out of me and my sister and obviously now I have a little brother and she did eventually end up having to take parenting classes before like my little brother even came along and so now she's honestly like a totally like different person and I genuinely feel that her taking parenting classes really did guide her in a better direction and really help her not not only like with us as like only with us like in our relationship but also like for her own personal self um and I've also done extensive research on this topic so I have a lot of knowledge on it and like what would what benefits would come from more people taking parenting classes so today I'll be talking to you about the reason why parenting classes should be mandatory and the benefits of taking child development classes and how volunteering at volunteer classes can make a difference um everyone should be required to take action on being more informed on parenting classes Um, According to the National Adoption Center, there are over 400,000 children in the foster care system in the United States, and it's just one example of how not being informed on good parenting practices can have really hard, like, heartbreaking consequences, and it really shapes, like, your child as a person, because obviously, like, when you have a child, like, how you are to them as a child, like, how you are to them when they're babies and when they're young will really help them, like, develop. Like, let's say you're really mean to your child. Obviously, your child's going to grow up with, like, really low self-esteem and not really feeling good about themselves. And that leads to, like, more consequences for them down in the long road. Um, So, for starters, there are a lot of children who are neglected or abused because their parents don't know any better. Like, I already spoke to you about about the case of Gabriel Fernandez. But many parents are really clueless. And so they put their children at, like, risk of being abused and neglected. Oftentimes, parents don't really take good care of their child or, like, they leave them alone or, like, they'll just, like, do things that aren't good to them. Like, oftentimes, a lot of parents um, practice um, beating their child. Not really beating or, like, hitting their child in a better way or spanking them, which is oftentimes not really a healthy way to take care of your child because it could lead to them later on being in relationships and being with people that will hit them or yell at them and they'll feel like, oh, well, that's what I deserve because that's what I grew up with. And it really just shows, like, how, like, it really develops into a child's mind. And um, if parents were more informed on the proper parenting techniques, we could see a lot of decrease in the number of children in foster care systems because with with more parents treating their children better and being there for them emotionally and treating them well and not doing anything harmful to them will often keep them out of the foster care system and keep them in the healthy hands of their own parents. Um... Child abuse is very preventable, and parenting classes can really help um, to prevent that. So I just explained to you how proper parenting techniques can keep children out of the foster care system, and now I'll be explaining to you how parenting classes can provide parents with tools to set them up for success. Um, The skills and knowledge that are gained in parenting classes may be really valuable. Um, they oftentimes teach you how to deal with difficult situations with your children. Like, oftentimes they have classes for, like, kids with special needs or even kids that are just super, like, hyper, like, have ADHD. My little brother has ADHD and my mom, she took classes for it. And it honestly, I feel like it really helped her a lot because she really knows how to handle, like, taking care of him or, like, when he gets really hyper. I personally can't handle, like, when he gets like that. And it just goes to show that other parent people who haven't taken these classes don't really have the proper knowledge on how to actually take care of them or, like, be there for them or give them what they need emotionally and, like, to help them calm down or, like, to be there for them. And it just shows that, like, the knowledge that you gain from these classes can help your child and your, like, emotional relationship with them. 
um, <clears throat> um, child development classes. Um, oh wait, sorry. So I just spoke to you about how parenting classes provide you with tools to be a successful parent. Um, now I'll be talking to you about how child development classes can help better understand your child, can help you to better understand your child. Um, parenting workshops often focus on child development and ways to bond with your child. Um, so a lot of times, a lot of parents don't understand why their child is the way they are or like how their brain grows mentally and like the different stages that a child goes through in their adolescence. And taking parenting classes can give you the proper knowledge and show you like the different stages that your child will go through and how to be there for them like when they're little and they're toddlers and things you can do to help them blossom like blossom mentally and physically and like not only that but it can also show you and help you how to take care of them like physically like to be there for them like how to hold them how to give them their bottles like what to feed them because I know a lot of people have kids when they're really young like if I were to have a kid right now I would honestly have no idea what to do like I wouldn't know how to give them a bottle how to hold them right how to put them to sleep or what to do when they're crying nonstop, or like things or like when I'm able to feed them like the proper stages of being able to feed them different foods and parenting classes can help to show you that <clears throat> so I just spoke to you about how child development classes can help you to better understand your child's needs and emotions and now I'll be showing to you how volunteering at parenting classes can help you to feel more confident in your parenting. So when you take parenting classes you oftentimes do get to practice with like little fake dolls or like they have like little classes where you can like practice home take home like a little doll and take care of it for a few days and that can oftentimes give you the visu visualization of what, how you're going to be as a parent or the things you can get better at doing if you already are a parent. Um, they can also to help you to feel more confident and more knowledgeable in your area of expertise because oftentimes when you do things that you're not really confident in, you won't really do a good job because you don't have any idea what you're doing. So um, they can help you to be more prepared and it can help you to know the child growth and development and to be more ready. <clears throat> so in conclusion, I just told you about how taking child development classes um, and being more knowledge <clears throat> and volunteering during these things can help you. Um, so now I'll be telling you how they should be mandatory. Um, parenting classes should be mandatory because they provide parents with the tools they need to be successful. Child development classes can help parents better understand their children. Volunteering at parenting classes can help parents feel more confident, confident and comfortable. Um, taking child de development classes can help parents to feel more prepared for when the time does come to be a parent or if you already are a parent. So many people have many children without the idea of how to take care of them, but taking parenting classes should be, should be mandatory in order to help prevent so many more children going into the foster care system. So I urge you now to take action and to be more informed on the parenting practices. You can volunteer at helping other parents, that other people that are, are, are already parents, or you can take child development classes that will help you give you knowledge for in the future when you are a parent or if you already are a parent. And I would also encourage you, cur encourage you and urge you to donate to good foundations that help child abuse. I'm personally in a sorority, and one of the main philanthropies that we support is Stop Child Abuse America. And this foundation is there, and they do offer classes as well. And it just will help children, like help children that are in the foster system and help to fund classes that are already in place. So definitely check that out and just try to take action and take those classes.